hello in this video I'm going to talk about how to write well in English so this is basically for beginners people who are starting to write in English so if you're already an expert I think this is not going to be very useful but if you're a beginner you are trying to improve your writing skills in English this will be very useful so I'll take you through the steps that you need to follow in order to write well in English there are few basic things that you need to keep in mind when you are writing first thing is that you should always use simple words okay do not use any complicated words use very simple words words that we normally read on newspapers okay if you are unable to find a simple word for a for a given context what you do is that simply do a google search and then when you do that you will get the synonyms of that and just find the most simple uh, the simplest word from that list and then use that so first thing is simple words then simple sentences okay make it make the sentence very simple or short short sentences Okay. Um, if you do not write long sentences, if you write long sentences, you tend to make a lot of mistakes and that is not very good. So make sure that you always write short sentences, right? If you're trying to complicate it, it's not going to be very uh, nice in, 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 the, in the essay or the passage that you're writing okay also if you write long sentences then you are likely to make a lot of mistakes so make sure uh, that you always write short sentences then use paragraphs okay so always use paragraphs and short paragraphs do not have big paragraphs just always have short paragraphs okay then always write uh, in uh, active voice unless it is very necessary do not use uh, passive voice okay no passive voice okay and then be aware of the tense that you are using the tense that you are using should not change too much in the essay if you are writing on something uh, which happened in past use past tense right so most of the sentences should be past tense similarly for writing something for future ensure that it is either simple tense simple present or future but uh, yeah so make sure you keep that in mind when you are writing so correct tense is very important okay then what about the grammar overall grammar okay so um, well first of all you should be familiar with the basics of grammar but you cannot always be sure about the grammar so what you do is that uh, you take help from google right if you do not know how to use uh, simple perfect tense then take help from google uh, you can get a lot of uh, material on google to understand how it can be used right um, if you're writing on microsoft word it actually suggests you if you're making a mistake I suggest you how to rectify the mistake right so take help of that the other websites also one popular website is called grammarly okay so you can use that to rectify the grammar okay but when you are practicing you as a beginner when you're practicing do not take help from grammarly or you know microsoft word and so on because that's a time to really practice you if you always take help from these sites you know you won't rectify your mistakes so first rectify but if you're writing for some purpose like you are writing an email to your um, manager you are writing a draft letter official letter then you can take help okay but you are practicing at home try to take less help from you know grammarly or microsoft word okay so grammar is very important so make sure that you use proper grammar okay and then what else is important all right um 
so when you are writing actually right if you uh, if I have a topic in mind um, and you start writing uh, oftentimes what happens is that you will not get uh, the, the ideas as to what to write and that's a problem and then you write one sentence and then you write something else and then it's it's not coherent that means it's not very well written it, it will not appeal to uh, the reader so what you do is that first before writing make sure that you have the points that you will be writing on okay so we'll take an example to see how we can write very well um, so that's uh, another important thing that make sure that you have points uh, and all the sentences should be related to some weed sentences or the paragraphs they should be related in some ways otherwise you know there will be a lack of flow in your uh, writing and then it will not be very interesting to the reader so we'll see the example and while we write i'm also going to tell you what are the potential mistakes people make and uh, how you should be careful about them okay so we'll write about a topic called my country okay so the topic name is my country it's a simple very simple topic you know we'll start with a very simple in subsequent videos i'm going to write maybe a bit more complicated topic uh, but um, this one i'll take a very simple one so my country when you write make sure that you come to the point in the very first statement first or second statement or at least in the first paragraph okay don't write something else and then then come to the main point come to the main point from the very beginning okay so if i'm going to talk to about my country the first thing that I should i should be telling is what is my country right so i'll write okay my country i'll start something like this the name of my country is india okay very simple sentence okay the name of my country is india now so uh, it is clear now that i'm going to talk about india in this particular essay or in the particular uh, piece of writing okay so it is clear now um, now let's see the tense aspect of this sentence now when we are going to talk about a country or a place or or something we do not have to worry about uh, a lot about the different tenses of it that means it's not an event that happened in past or it's going to happen in future it's it's about some facts providing some facts when you write about facts uh, make sure that you use simple present okay it makes your life very easy it's very uh, suitable uh, for that kind of writing okay so here the name of the country is india is is the main verb and it is simple present here and always ensure that your um, sentence should always have a main verb if you cannot find uh, a main verb in your sentence then you have made a mistake so when you write you should proofread it that means once you you have uh, completed writing make sure that you go through that is called proofreading and then ensure that each and every sentence has a main verb otherwise you have made a mistake and you need to rectify that okay name the name of my country is india it is it is a big country okay india is a big country because both in terms of number of people living in and also uh, the area area wise also it is it's quite a big country right it is in asia right so the india is part of asia the continent is asia so i'm going to also write it is in asia see the sentences these are very simple sentences right and you do not have to uh, use and and too much of too many times like and too many times for example the name of my country is india and it is a big country and it is in asia 
right try to have more full stops um, at least for a beginner that's very important once you improve your writing maybe you can then club your sentences into one sentence but if a big if a beginner um, make sure that you know you make, uh, keep it very short the sentences should be very short okay and if you think some words are not necessary just delete them okay just remove them for example you know uh, we can use in order to and just to right so in order to is used many times right let me give an example in order to right so in order to is nothing but just to okay so instead of in order to you should write just to so it saves you two words that means you can delete the two words right it makes shorten your sentence so make sure you do that okay what else we can write so um, it is in asia um more than to 1.2 billion people live in india okay what else we can write okay so i told you that if it's always good to have first the points and then you write okay so what we'll do for this is that we'll write about the below the following points one uh, we'll start with an introduction that means the basics of, about India and then we will write about uh, economy then uh, culture and then about our uh, about our government maybe a bit okay and then we will conclude okay you do not you do not have to have a conclusion for every everything but um, if it is about an opinion you're writing an opinion about something it's always good to conclude it nicely but for even for uh, this kind of a topic you can conclude uh, but that's uh, not always needed okay but having an introduction is always important okay all right so we start with an introduction and this is what we're writing okay so we say okay in India it's a it's a big country more than 1.2 billion people live in this country Mm, over 20 okay, people so let me tell you the mistake that I, I was making and then I am trying to correct it but let me so I was trying to write okay over 20 languages are spoken in this country okay but R spoken is a passive voice and as I told you it's always good to use active voice instead of passive voice so how, how can I make it active right so when you make make something active you have to have a subject okay and who are the who, who what is the subject here people right people in India speak over 20 languages right so what spoken or oh, uh, so um, um, 20 la uh, languages are spoken so in order to make it active I just you know use the simple present form the people in India speak over 20 languages okay. uh, <coughs> however not all languages are
official as per the constitution okay so what i'm trying to say is that not all languages are official official languages in india obviously the many more languages but um yeah only a few languages uh, are the official languages right uh in india then maybe we can talk a bit more about uh okay so we have actually written one sentence on language so i maybe in the culture part we will touch upon a bit but not here okay so i'll delete it okay i don't think it's it makes sense to have another sentence sometimes you may have to delete some sentences or delete some words if you do not think it it adds a lot of value okay uh what else we can uh, talk about india okay the capital of india is new delhi right then we can also talk about the states we have right i think we have some 30 30 states right now 30 or 31 uh there are 30 states in india each state has its own capital okay then we will write about the economy culture government of so now we are more or less okay with the introduction right And then just to make sure that you know the flow uh, is there in in the in this essay what we'll say is that below we shall write about uh the different aspects of india then what are the aspects give us colon and this economy culture government or democracy whatever okay these three things full stop then we'll start writing about economy uh we'll write okay india is a big economy because india is certainly a big economy right as you know uh the gdp is gdp in 2019 so now we are referring to a time in in past because now we are in 2020 but we are referring to 2019 so we will use was other than that if you see the first par par uh, paragraph we were using only simple uh, present right uh mostly uh simple present okay instead of we shall we just write we write okay so let me simple present okay india is a big economy the gdp in india gdp in 2019 you can also write okay gdp of india in 2019 was approximately 3 trillion dollar however the per capita income is low right however the per capita income is low therefore india is considered 
a poor country okay so we wrote a bit about the economy let's uh, write a bit about the culture india is home to is home to over over yeah we can say five religions right we can write about what the religions are main religions are but without going into the details we can write a bit bit more about the festivals and what other things people do and so on right <coughs> people in india celebrate many festivals some main festivals are as follows holi diwali christmas muharram eid You can also do this here if you don't think that okay here we use this column right to talk about the different points why we use this another sentence we can simply remove this sentence people in this event many festivals and then just write about it and there are also other festivals right so we can write etc uh -huh. <coughs> each province has its own culture in india okay for example people in kerala celebrate pongal but it is not celebrated in many other states okay so then you are talking about the uniqueness of the states right they can go on writing up more about it and so on okay so then let's lastly let's talk about the government okay so um okay so you can write okay india is a democratic country election is held every five year now you see we now election is held is a passive voice right it is very necessary to use that okay we can make it active also for example we can say okay um, the election commissioner um, uh, makes sure that you know we have election every each and every five year but sometimes we have to use the passive voice right so this is one case election is held every five year okay there are two major parties in india and what are the parties give a colon bjp and congress currently bjp is 
the ruling party okay you can also write a bit about the state politics right each state in india has its own government right you can also write a bit more about you know um, yeah how the election is held what happened in the past 70 years of indian democracy and so on and so forth but let's not write it details okay these are the basics that you should keep in mind while uh, writing uh, an essay or yeah anything that is that requires you to you know be very formal and your message should be clear to the audience so these are some of the important things you should keep in mind and then we'll conclude okay this for this article it's not very important but uh, for a lot of other articles it's very important okay so you can conclude like this okay uh, as you read above india is an interesting country country you should if you have not visited india you should consider india yet you should consider visiting okay so this is now our short essay right we can will then we'll do proof reading so proof reading is very important in fact you should spend more time in proof reading than in writing okay proof reading is about reading it once again to ensure that uh, the sentences are okay there is no grammatical mistake there are if there are unnecessary words unnecessary sentences you should correct them or simply remove them okay let's read about it that Let, let's do the proof reading the name of my country is india it is a big country it is in asia more than 1.2 billion people live in india people in india speak over 20 languages the capital of india is new delhi there are 30 states in in India, each state has its own capital. Below we write about the different aspects of India, economy, culture and democracy. Okay, so far it's good. One thing here I see here is that we have been using India quite many times, right? Here, 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 like four times in this paragraph, we use I think four to five times, okay? Now that it's clear we're going to write about India, we can skip it also sometimes. So here people in India speak over 20 languages. You simply can say people speak over 20 languages. Okay. It makes it you don't have to repeat the same word, right? It's sometimes very irritating if you while you are reading you are you know um, reading the same word again one again. It it makes the reader uh, feel a bit irritated. So you can remove the repeated word. Here it is fine. Capital of India is so India is fine. Uh, here is also fine. And that's fine, right? Some places we need to specify that. So, okay, but but make sure that it's not uh, repeated everywhere. India is a big economy. The GDP of uh, GDP of India in twenty nineteen maybe. Yeah, so. We just wrote about Indian economy, so we don't have to repeat of India, right? Simply remove that. GDP in 2019 was three trillion dollar. However, the per capita income is low, right? So per capita income is something. It's an economic term or technical term. Not everyone will understand what a per capita income uh, means. So what you can do is that simply define it. And what how do we do that? In two ways you can do that. You simply use bracket and say income per 
person okay or average income per person right or so you just put it inside in the bracket otherwise what you can do is that you can also use comma the per capita income just give a comma so what is the per capita income income per person is low okay but i will prefer using uh, a bracket right just to explain what it means therefore india is considered a poor country india is home to over five religions people in india celebrate many festivals holy diwali christmas mohram etc each province has its own culture in india uh, right so we are using state so let's not use province so each state has its own culture in india you don't have to use india again old culture that's it for example people in kerala celebrate pongal but it is not celebrated in many other country you can also add just comma and but but i would always prefer prefer you to use full stop and then start a new sentence india is a democratic and some people might wonder okay can we start a sentence with but or and yes you can start a sentence with but or and it is not an issue at all india is a democratic country in election is held every 5 year okay uh there are two major parties in india again what are the parties then with column right currently bjp is the ruling party each state in india has its own government again we are talking about india so here we can remove each state has its own government as you read above india is an interesting country right um if you are not visited uh india yet you should consider visiting right this is just for yeah people if if you have like someone reading about india for the first time yeah you can also suggest something or yeah it's, it's just a your test you can uh, conclude the way you want uh, and it's not always needed but uh, if it is about opinion you writing an opinion about uh, whether india is having a good democracy so that's where you are, people are expecting your opinion there you should have a conclusion right but if you are writing about a country or a place or about something you don't have to have an opinion always okay so these are the basics in the next video we'll see more about how to write well write better thank you